Derivation of Chemical Formula A chemical compound is made up of two or more elements combined in a fixed proportion. A compound therefore has a fixed chemical formula. The chemical formula of a compound gives us many information. It represents one molecule of that compound. It also specifies the atoms and their numbers in one molecule. So how to derive the chemical formula of a compound? Let's start with a simple compound, iron sulfide. Step 1. Iron sulfide is made of two parts, iron and sulfur. Therefore, write the chemical symbol of iron on the left and that of sulfur on the right. Step 2. Write the valencies of the two parts at the bottom of the respective symbols. Step 3. Interchange the valencies. Step 4. This step has three sub-steps. Firstly, compute the highest common factor of the valencies. Next, divide the valencies by the HCF. Here, the highest common factor of 2 and 2 is 2. So we divide the valencies by 2. The final step is to remove 1 from the modified valencies, if any. This completes the derivation of this formula. This is a general method of deriving the chemical formula of compounds. Let us take one more example. We will derive the chemical formula of iron 3 carbonate. Let's apply each step one by one. S step 1. Then step 2. Now apply step 3. Please note that if a part of the formula is made of multiple atoms, the part must be enclosed within brackets. Here the carbonate part, CO3, is made of four atoms. Therefore, it should be enclosed within brackets. Let us now carry out the fourth step. Here, HCF of 2 and 3 is 1. Since the HCF is 1, we don't have to divide the valencies. Even if you do the division, nothing happens. Can you tell why this is so? Since the modified valencies are 2 and 3, we let them be as they are. Well, that's how we derive a chemical formula for a compound. Isn't it interesting? Try to derive formula for other compounds on your own.